Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this section, we'll be covering the Azure Cloud Adoption Framework. Cloud Adoption Framework is a white paper that is a step-by-step -step process to help organizations plan and migrate their workloads to Azure. The image outlines the Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure, a systematic approach to transitioning to the Azure Cloud. The process is categorized into stages. Define strategy here, the focus is on understanding motivations, grasping the reasons for cloud adoption, business outcomes, identifying the desired results, business justification, validating the move's reasons, first adoption project, kickstarting the cloud journey, plan, this stage includes rationalizing digital estate, evaluating current digital assets, initial organization alignment, ensuring everyone is aligned with the migration's goals, skills readiness plan, equipping teams with necessary cloud skills, cloud adoption plan, laying out a roadmap for the cloud transition, ready, this phase ensures preparedness, Azure Readiness Guide, preparing the environment for Azure. First landing zone, setting up an initial secure Azure environment. Expanding the blueprint, broadening the Azure setup as per requirements. Best practice validation, ensuring adherence to Azure best practices. Adopt the actionable phase where migrate existing workloads or move to Azure. This entails the first workload migration, understanding expanded scenarios, validating best practices, and making process improvements. Innovate, transform services in the Azure environment using innovation guides, exploring new scenarios, validating best practices, and furthering process improvements. Govern, this is about oversight and management. Establish a methodology and benchmark for governance. Implement initial best practices, standards for Azure use. Measure governance maturity, how well governance rules are followed. Manage, this deals with ongoing operations. Ensure business commitments are met during the transition. Set and assess the operations baseline. Determine operations maturity, gauge the efficiency of cloud operations. Now, let's take a look at the security roles and responsibilities of the Azure Cloud Adoption Framework. Business and technology outcomes. Goals and results expected from security functions. Security outcomes. Results an organization aims for, including governance, prevention, and response. Role types. Security leadership provides security direction and strategy. Security architect designs and implements security blueprints. Platform app security engineers ensures security of platforms and applications. Security operations manages real-time security threats. Responsibilities. Security leadership sets security strategy. Security architecture designs secure systems. Security compliance ensures adherence to regulations. Policy and standards set security policies. Posture management manages overall security stance. Phases of security implementation. Plan identifies security needs. Build implements strategies, including access control and asset protection. Run manages ongoing operations, including prevention and response. Feedback loop. Continuous improvement cycle in security operations. In summary, the framework offers a structured way to transition to Azure, ensuring strategy alignment, preparation, adoption, governance, and effective management. 